Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, tonight I want to do a quick video on a little program called Secure A+. Uh, this is something new uh, that uh, we're not used to usually looking at, and that's called application whitelisting. <coughs> Excuse me, a little sick here. But, um, uh, you're familiar with application blacklisting, which would be antivirus. So antivirus is just a database of bad programs, bad scripts, bad pieces of software. Um, so it's a database that must be maintained all the time. The problem with malware now is that it generates, it's polymorphic, so it, it, it can make millions of copies of itself every day. Uh, so it's really kind of getting impossible to keep up with all the malware out there. So antivirus is a thing of the past, basically. So the future is whitelisting. So you have a <clears throat> you have a computer. Let's say you have a computer that you just bought. So it's pretty much it's pretty much clean. You install something like Secure A Plus. It takes a look at every executable on the computer, um, and it makes sure that it's um, MD5 hash. It's like fingerprint or Social security number, I don't know how you want to say it. I would, I would say fingerprint is legitimate. So whenever, if you're a software developer, you create a piece of software and you put it out there, it has a hash or a fingerprint that is unique, and you cannot duplicate that. So uh, a lot of these um, developers release these databases of these hashes out there, these fingerprints, so that you can check and see, do you have the legitimate program? the real program from that developer. Um, I have an example here, I think. <clears throat> if I, uh, yeah, I do. So I created this file right here, Adobe Reader, whatever, and then I downloaded this one. This one's legit, this one's not. Let's take a look at their fingerprints or their MD5 hashes. So the hash for this guy, this is the MD5 hash or the fingerprint. You can see it starts off with a 6-8-E. Let's take a look at the real Adobe Reader released from Adobe. It's a totally different fingerprint. So this one right here would be flagged as false. It's not known uh, to any... Uh, any hash table out there released by a developer so it's just an unknown piece of software not to be trusted so I know this is kind of complicated for some people it's it's a little more technical um, than I can even really explain here for some of my users who watch my videos but I think you'll get a good idea of how it works uh, besides whitelisting secure a plus also uh, will upload any file on your computer um, and scan it against 12 cloud uh, antivirus scanners so it's also free for a year I think if you buy it it's like 20 something bucks a year I don't know it's cheap but I, I don't really care about the antivirus part I'm more interested in the whitelisting part because uh, that's really really where all the power of this comes in So yeah, I hope I kind of uh, explained how it works. You'll see how it, once you see how it works, you'll it'll be easier to understand. But yeah, whitelisting is definitely definitely the future. I mean, you just have a small database really of legitimate applications. The rest just don't allow them. Ditch them. So right now, Security Plus is going to take a look at my entire system. It's going to scan the whole thing. Uh, it's going to check out all my uh, legitimate uh, executables and scan any ones that it doesn't know about. So this can take some time. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while that's working. Okay, so it just finished uh, scanning my PC. And let's go ahead and open it up. And this is what the interface looks like. So right now on application whitelisting, we are in interactive mode. 
uh, you will be prompted whether to trust and run a program that is not found in the trusted list. So the trusted list is not exactly presentable right here. So we have to go into the settings and we will go to, I'm already lost, hang on. Application whitelisting, advanced settings, trusted certificates. So these are the databases or the certificates that companies put out there that say, hey, um, this group of programs that we put out is legit. That's the easiest way I can explain it. So it's a huge little list here. Huge little list. It's a big list. You can see Microsoft puts out a ton of stuff. Intel, Hewlett Packard, Google, they all, you know, all the major software producers put out a list of legitimate executables. So, all right. So you'll be prompted whether to trust a program that is not in the trusted list. Okay. So, let's go ahead and try that out. We will download a program that should be legit. Actually, let's go to Adobe. Yeah, Adobe.com slash flash or just flash.com. Let's see. Let's see if we can. It's probably a bad example. Yeah, it, it was. Hang on, let me um, go to File Hippo. And yeah, we'll do Adobe Reader. So Adobe Reader should be a legit program on the uh, thumbprint list or the MD5 list, trusted application list, whatever you want to call it. The, this is kind of, co kind of uh, complicated to explain. Is, I'm not used to talking about MD5s and white whitelists and thumbprints and all that stuff I mean people are going to be confused and I'm sorry so this should go through no problem at all I shouldn't be prompted to block it or anything yeah it's working as intended sweetness so that's how whitelisting should work. You know, you've got a, a list of applications that are trusted, that are verified. You can install them. Anything else? No. Awesome. All right. Let's do like another example here. Um, we'll go to uh, down. No, 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 no. We'll do this. YouTube converter something stupid like that oh sorry that's not what I wanted YouTube downloader how about that YouTube downloader.com download 100% free yay Run. Yes. Oh. Threat detected. <laughs> detected by Avira. Well, that's a bad example. Well, I'm glad Security Plus caught it, but it was a bad example of whitelisting. So, okay, that's fine. Don't quarantine it. Security, Security Plus for the win there. But, I mean, I was trying to give an example of something that's not on the trusted list. And I think I actually created a program. Ugh. It's locking up now. Hang on. Let me go full screen. There we go. This file is not in the whitelist. Do you want to trust this? No. So, Security Plus blocks it and says, whatever. Goodbye. Finish. So, um,. To 
prevent users from saying, yeah, go ahead and whitelist it, you could put this Secure A Plus in uh, lockdown mode. So you could say lockdown. And then you could, let me see if I have this right. Oh boy, hang on. No, it's not there. Sorry, manage uh, user rights. So nobody can change the settings if they are not in the trusted groups or trusted users. So if you create a regular user and just stick it out in the standard users group, they cannot go ahead and make any changes to Security Plus. So uh, Security Plus would be in lockdown mode, lockdown mode, which means, hold on, <laughs> all untrusted program, whoops, all untrusted programs you guys want to add an S there, will be automatically blocked from running on your computer. Okay, so we'll go to interactive for right now. Um, let's go back to file hippo. Find something that isn't totally ad wary. Hmm. CCleaner? I don't know if they have a thumbprint or an MD5 database out there. Wonder if they do. Yeah, wow, they do. So they're on the list. They're on the safe list. It's pretty cool how that works. Um, but if you try to download something that's not, let's go to download.com. Um, let's try to download. Uh, KM player download so this executable should not be on the safe list or should not have a thumbprint of anything safe yep boom look at that detection ratio 9 out of 57 this file is not in the whitelist do you want to trust this file no that is awesome, and that is the future, and I love it. So, I'm sure I didn't do this program near the justice that it deserves, but um, I love whitelisting, and this is my first time using it, and uh, I hope they actually make like a separate little application that is strictly whitelisting. I don't care about the cloud AV part, really, for my job and stuff, but man, it's awesome. Um, let's take a look and see what the resources are like. Uh, we'll go ahead and arrange my name. Secure A plus. I mean, it's tiny. It's like, I don't know, 30 meg or something, whatever. Just an awesome little application. I mean, whitelisting's the future, and I don't know. I love it. Anyway. I have another video coming up next, and um, it's, a, it's a PSA, and I think you'll like it, so bye.